Coral Gardens. Today uh, I'm going to talk about pH and uh, specifically low pH and some of the issues that I have with pH in previous tanks and this tank as well. I'm not sure if it's related to where I live or or just the tank conditions but <clears throat> just seem to have uh, chronically low pH in my aquariums, my reefs. So this time I decided to try something different. I've tried a few different things in the past with pH. Tried, uh, <clears throat> well, I've tried recirculating. First of all, I've tried opening the window, let some fresh air into the house. Obviously that isn't always possible. I live up north in Canada, so it's not always comfortable to do that. So the next thing I tried was running the skimmer air intake line outside to so fresh air, which pretty much had zero impact on my pH in my tank. I found it didn't help at all. Um, so kelp washer has been an option. Uh, at one point I did dose kelp washer and that helped a lot with my pH. Now this system, I'm trying to keep things super simple and I don't want to dose kelp washer. I have a calcium reactor. And uh, so I'm just, I just preferably would not like to dose kelp washer. So I'm trying the ice cap uh, CO2 uh, reactor. I have that down here in the sump. I'm gonna stop showing your corals and sit down here to the sump and have a look here. Excuse the lighting, I'm having some lighting issues down here. And, uh, we'll get a light on it for you guys. <clears throat> so this is it here, and of course I've just got it running to the skimmer intake line. And I got that full of two little fishies uh, media reactor there, media. It's an ice cap reactor actually. It says that those pellets will turn white when it's exhausted. I haven't found that they turn white. I just, they exhaust and it looks the same color. You just know that it's exhausted when your pH is, is done. There's the old reef mat ticking away. Everything else is running pretty good down here. I got lots of chato in the sump. Could use a little clean down there soon. So this Running this uh, media took my pH was going down to about 7.95 in the evenings and I was getting up to about without the media reactor my pH was going from 7.95 at night to 8.1 during the day maximum 8.1 as soon as I did that pretty much immediately my alkalinity crashed and so I'm running and I'm assuming that's because the corals are happy and they're taking in more alkalinity so I've got a calcium reactor that's what I'm running in here and that's great for maintaining uh, alkalinity and calcium but it's not so great at um, moving it or adjusting it. So I'm manually dosing uh, during the first couple days of adding new media to this because it spikes the pH and it drops the alkalinity quite a bit. And if I didn't watch it, it could drop like two, two and a half points in a day. So <clears throat> I've dosed probably seven X times the amount of uh, buffer that I put in the tank normally, which is none. So I'm, I'm buffing on top of what the calcium reactor does. So it's, I'm guessing that it's about seven times what the tank would normally take up in a day, but I'm not 100% sure of that. But anyways, it's nice to have the pH up and the little reactor works great. I think the only downside is that the media really doesn't last very long and it's not cheap. So we'll have to see if this is gonna be a long-term solution. And the fact that it does seem to change the pH so drastically that that it, it's affecting alkalinity, which I like to keep rock solid if I can, um, isn't isn't a great thing. I'm gonna give you a look at 
a new frag we got here. Just gonna zoom in on that for you guys. Otherwise, the tank's looking pretty good. And we'll do a tank update on some of these corals and what we're adding in here and how things are going with all the new, the new additions in here. Anyways, that's it for now about the pH. I'll update you guys later and let you know how much I'm liking this uh, ice cap media reactor, CO2 media reactor. Let you know what I think after a couple months. But right now, liking it. Uh, yeah, it's making a big difference on pH, that's for sure. 8.33 right now, currently, during the day.